you know, James, why don't you lead off with who's easier or harder to work with, in your opinion? Sure. Um, I feel like it seems that end users come in, they're like different categories. They're the ones that don't know anything and don't really care. They just want it to work. And then there's some that know just enough to be dangerous, <laughs> where they'll try to fix it themselves and screw it up even more. Um, and then there's like, I mean, there's a whole spectrum of people in between. <laughs> so um with a lot of people i remember there was one guy at my previous job not at my current job and he he fell into the category of he knew just enough to be dangerous where like he would hear stuff online or he would watch youtube videos and he would try it and oftentimes he ended up just screwing it up even more and it's like why didn't you just tell us in the beginning <laughs> that you had this issue that instead of trying to like like we appreciate you taking the initiative, but we also know that you don't really know what you're doing. So, um, so with some people, it's just a challenge to kind of like just help them realize when they're a little bit in over their head, and instead of like m maybe I can fix it, just be like, okay, look, I messed up. These are all the things that I did. So that way, at least we as the admin know like how to fix it. A lot of times when we're we start to work on it. We see, well, was this like this before? Or did you do this? Like, oh yeah, I didn't mention that. It's like, well, that would have been helpful three hours ago when I started working on this. So, so, and then you have the type where um, they kind of know, like, okay, this isn't right. Let me take it to the professional in a sense. And then they also actually want to know like how to fix it in case the issue happens again. So, and those are the, probably the easiest ones to work with because they 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 want to help our job they want to help it be easier what am i trying to say they want it to be easier for us so they can fix the issue themselves if it's something that's very straightforward or if it's complex and they know that they can come back to us so yeah you know that's uh you co you covered a lot of different things there and uh one thing popped into my head while you were talking that really resonated uh there, there was a personality that would always say things are broken that I worked with in the past. And, um, you know, sometimes not be fully forthcoming about what was broken or why it was broken. And uh, I recall this scenario where this person was really upset that her laptop wasn't working. And, uh, you know, as it turned out, she spilled a, a Coke on it <laughs> earlier in the day. And, and, uh, you know, it drowned in acid and, and sugar. So things were going south on that laptop. But, right. <laughs> but, you know, just coming to us and telling us, hey, I spilled Coke on it so that we could move quicker would have been helpful um, yeah. versus us looking at it and going, well, clearly this has got liquid damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nathan, yeah, just, how about you? Me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just tell, tell me. I, I, uh, I think what James was saying makes a lot of sense. I think that um, we often over time start to generalize, like group people into, you know, how we think they're going to respond or how easy they're going to be able to work with, um, sometimes based upon their position or things like that. Um, like traditionally, like I found that doctors were very difficult to work with um, because they don't like people telling them what to do they think they know already um but i think that comes down to like you can't just buy into those preconceived notions like and this is um easier or tougher depending on the size of your organization but i think if you can really get to know the end users on a one-on-one -on -one individual basis like you can start to suss out like what their comfort level is like how much you can trust them to do things as opposed to um, if they just need a little bit of guidance and they're good, or you need to kind of tell them really tap the brakes on their, you know, um, ideas and like, let us take care of it. Cause that's what we're here for sort of thing. So I think right. being able to kind of like, um, figure that out on a one-on-one -on -one basis is really helpful. And, you know, I, I just had an idea, maybe on onboarding, we should develop some sort of uh, IT mental health curriculum where we're trying to say, look, IT challenges happen. It's not a personal attack. The device doesn't hate you. <laughs> Just teasing. But, <laughs> it's not personal. Uh, 
so, you know, we kind of covered some of this, but uh, techniques for dealing with challenging people. Um, you know, there are those personalities that are really worked up when they're in the middle of a technical challenge and they just need to vent and get it off their chest before you can really dive in and get to the nuts and bolts. So um, yeah. what does that look like and feel for you guys? Do you have techniques that work well there for you to stay calm and, and not escalate the uh, the feel of that problem? Yeah, there was, I'm sorry, go ahead, Nathan. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, um, yeah, I think some of this has to deal with um, that rapport that you build up with your end users. Like if you've worked with them for a while and you can kind of establish that trust where they like, know that you're you know uh there to help them that you're going to do everything you can that you're going to be honest with them i think that can go a long way so then like letting them vent that frustration get that initial like brunt of stuff taken care of and then you can kind of get down into the nuts and bolts of actually what the issue is and how to fix it i think allowing them to have that time to vent and kind of calm down really goes a long ways towards like productive communication after that Great. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, there was this, I was actually reminded of one, oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay. No, no, go ahead. Um, I was reminded of um, one person that I dealt with that um, he was known to have a really bad temper. And I'm, I remember he called once and he was like screaming on the phone <laughs> and then he slammed it down. And then um, it was one of those where like, honestly, it's like, I don't even want to deal with this guy, you know, but I was the only one around. So like, I'll go talk to him. And then I go in there and he's like, just like upset and he's like yelling. And then I feel like you kind of have to, I know we're there like to provide a service to them, but at the same time, we do need to be respected, you know? So I remember telling him, I was like, okay, if you want to vent, that's fine, but you can't come at me like that. Um, so I said, I'll come back when you calm down, when you're ready, we'll continue, <laughs> you know? Because it's like, I know what the problem is. I know that it's simple. I can just fix it. But if you're going to be acting this way, then I'm not going to deal with that. I mean, just because you still need to respect me as an equal. So that was one thing. And he didn't do it. Do He he vented his frustration before coming to me in the future. So, um, <laughs> and I job. also like, I mean, I cleared that with like, I told my my supervisor at the time as well. I was like, this guy's like just gone nuts, you know, <laughs> like he, he just needs to chill out. It's, something very simple so hey, but yeah you. i do agree like we also need to remember like even though we're dealing with these people we are skilled in our areas at the end they're skilled in other areas like we're both people and i've also been on the receiving end where like we're all call customer service and then they'll tell me to do something simple i was like man is this how i make people feel when i tell them have you tried turning it off and on you know <laughs> so yeah it's just one of the yeah. things where we have to be um mindful of like where they're coming from and why they're frustrated it's like okay i can understand where you're coming from i identify with you so please subscribe and check out more content from us